Hello, you. Yes, it's paddle controller time again. An Atari paddle on the Commodore 64. Yes, I figured I've been playing bat and ball games on the 64 for oh, 64 on the 2600 for a few goes now. I figured it's time for me to um, fire up the 64 because these work on the 64 as well, and I haven't been able to play Pinball Spectacular for years because I lost my paddle controllers years and years and years ago but I've still got this cartridge but requires paddle controllers so well now's the ideal time to fire it up and um, remind myself what it was like um, I remember being a bit disappointed at the time because it's not really pinball it's another bat and ball game but kind of pinball themed there's no, there's no flippers I press start and Oh look, I can do two players. I have two sets of paddles, but I have only one set of me. Uh, one player. There's your flippers. Paddles. Yeah. Lovely smooth action though. So, he says as it starts juddering a bit, let's press fire and launch him off. That was a good start, wasn't it? <coughs> Almost lost it as well. Hey, nice start. I've got the Commodore logo, and I'm guessing it's worth much of his points. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's speeding up. Well, that's handy, that slows it down. Why have we got an arrow pointing to that there? It's speeding up again. Oh, oh, that's. I like it slowing down like that. It's going to speed up up there now again, isn't it? Oh. I need to get a D and an E. Those are difficult ones to get down there, aren't they? Being bottom left and bottom right. Can I get the. Oh, heck. Slow down, you bugger. Ooh. Oh dear, that didn't look like a good thing to hit because that's opened up a... Yeah. Do I still just have to get the D and the E or is that reset? Oh, bloody hell, it's reset. That's... Well, that was a good way of... Oh, could have got that O then, couldn't I, if I hadn't got in the way. Oh dear. Up quite a bit. Whoop! Damn you! Um, well, let's get that E again. And maybe the O? Yes, we've got the O. We've got two bricks left to get. I wonder what happens if we get those. He says, jinxing himself horribly. Get over to the right hand side, please. Oh! They just reappeared. Oh! Ooh. Oh, damn! Game over. Oh! Roll to put your name in. Cute. Ooh. Top of the high score table, because everything else was there by default. Let's have one more go. See if I can get any better. Um, yeah, let's get that E out of the way. Seeing as we seem to fire off like that. Oh, how did you dodge around that? <laughs> Each of those is worth that, it looks. That's a hundred each time. Whoa! I was hoping that would go and get that R, but there we go. Get the C? No. Oh, heck. Ooh. Oh, 
Bum. I'm never going to get all of Commodore lit, am I? I hadn't even noticed that I'd got the R before. Come on, nice and slowly across. No, we're going to get up there and suddenly go to ludicrous speed, aren't we? Can I get up? I wonder what happens when you get up there. I mean, obviously, it's a very early game. I mean, your ball is square for a start, so I mean, there's a, there's a rough indicator of how early this game is. But then also, it's an original Commodore cartridge, so yeah, it is early, isn't it? But, you know, there's a challenge to it. It's entertaining enough. Pong concept. Pong? Well, yeah, it is Pong, really, isn't it? It takes the breakout concept, I meant to say, but, and changes it up a little bit. I'm not quite sure it's a pinball spectacular. Oh, I haven't noticed we've blocked those bits off. Yay, we've got D! Oh, hell, now we're speeding up and we're never going to get anywhere. Oh, thank God for that. Into the sea. I've already got the sea, haven't I? Ooh. M. Yes. Oh hell. Oh. Poop. And there we go. Reset again. Oh, not even reset. Game over. Oh well, I've got to put my name in now, haven't I? With a score as impressive as that. <coughs> Yeah, so I think we'll leave it there on that one. That's Pinball Spectacular on the Commodore 64. And there's a fair challenge. Um, whether I'll ever light up all of Commodore and know what happens there, I don't know. But like a pinball table, there's different things to light that gives you different scores. It's not just a case of wanging a ball around a table and just hoping for the best. There is some skill involved in it. And you can bounce the, say, ball, your square, around at different angles. And you've got a fair bit of control because of the paddles. If it was just joystick, it would be a bit... Yeah. But, yeah, yeah you can't... Okay, so it's... I just noticed that it was hitting it up the side there. Yeah, it's an early one. You've got to give it a... What's the word? I'm losing my brain again. Oh, I just noticed that one's 200 points over on the right now. Oh, okay. Does that happen when you wang it up the right-hand side? It... There's actually a fair bit to this game, isn't there? It might not look anything particularly special, but it plays well, and there's a lot to learn in it, it would appear. So, um, yeah, if you've got yourself a Commodore 64, and you've got a set of paddles, and you see this cartridge going cheap, give it a go, you might like it. It's a laugh. It's just not anything particularly graphically or sonically fancy. But then 1983, what were you expecting? My god, 1983. What's that? 35 years ago now? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Anywho, yes. Pinball Spectacular on the Commodore 64. Hope you enjoyed watching. Catch you on the next one, maybe. Ta-ta.